What is up, boys? We're back with another Magnificent Titties display. Let's see if today is the day that we pull a Pharaoh Rare. And you know, behind the scenes, guys, I say today is the day or will today be the day, but it's the same day. I've actually been opening up, up uh, I, all these displays that I've been opening uh, recently on the channel have been opened the same day, like back to back, basically. That's just uh, what I do usually. But anyways, let's go ahead and open up this this magnificent titties display and see if we get lucky um if you guys didn't see the other video we did get some misprints or whatever the hell you would call them so that would also be pretty dope you know a feral rare misprint or no name would be like god tier god tier pull but uh all right we are in boys Let's see what we can do. Box one, let's go. As far as fair rares, though, since I already have the blue boy himself, the blue eyes boy himself, I kind of want a dark magician girl because that is the second most expensive. But I also would settle for a Neo. So we'll see. We'll see. My Akashi, though. There we go. Those sleeves, man, they're pretty expensive. I'm kind of keeping them and seeing how how they mature in the market, because I feel like they will be more expensive in the future. Anyways, a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, Witchcrafter Vice Madame, Pride of Plant, uh, uh, Ambule, well, we're just going to go with Pride of Plant, man. You, you, don't, you don't have a second name. Mizuki, and then uh, Mitrol, Midi, Multi-Roll, Multi-Roll, that's what it is. So what are Sky Strikers? Are they like virtual waifus or... Like, yeah, what, what's their stick? Cause they're cybers. Aren't, no, they're warriors. Wait, oh. I don't know what they are. I thought I thought they were cybers, but they might be warriors. Epilosa, Bo the Goddess. Hell yeah. Sky Striker, Mobilized, Linkage. This is the new Sky Striker. Or the the card that was imported in the set. Um, Not new anymore. G-Spot Golem. Hell yeah. Sword Soul of Time. Mr. Sword Soul himself. Hell yeah. Man, this, these, these uh, displays, these boxes are really expensive, but so fun to open. Lightning Storm, Keldo, the Sacred Protector. Light Imprisoning Mirror. A Sky Striker, East Ray. Now, see, you, Sky Striker fans gotta let me know, because there's only a, a handful of main deck Sky Striker monsters, but it seems like most people will just run Ray for the most part. So, why are you guys not running... Uh, the the other one, Rose or Rose or whatever the, her, the hell her name is. Gravekeeper's Trap, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. That is the Pharaoh Rare, boys. We have pulled it. That is crazy. I've also already pulled this one. Actually, you know what? I bought this as a PSA 9 recently. I bought this one and a Ghost Rare uh, from Ghost from the Past 1. But, uh, I mean, I will take it, dude. Hell yeah. Look at the feral rare goodness, guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. I mean, I'll take it. It is a double for me, but uh, I will I will take it. You can't be upset, you spaghetti, when you, when you pull a feral rare. Because, man, feral rares are pretty expensive. I feel like people are catching on on that as well because... The, the market has dictated it, essentially. We got, uh, what are these called? Uh, My so there's Mayakashi, Sky Striker, and Witchcrafter. That's what it is. All right. Let's go second box. Come on. Another fair rare. Let's get greedy, guys. We're going, we're going full green mode here. We got Hemp, Foolish Return, Nightmare, Cerebus, and a uh, Witchcrafter creation. Okay, okay. I see you. But, uh, yeah, I feel like people are finally catching on. The fair rares are, you know, very hard to get and um, are buying, buying them out. So, if you guys haven't bought some and it's not too late, like, you know, for Blue Eyes and Dark Magician Girl, I feel like it's too late and you probably shouldn't be spending <laughs> whatever the hell they're, they're worth now. But, uh, for some other ones like Neos, which is like 50 bucks currently, eh, maybe pick it up so it doesn't uh, doesn't get too expensive for you. 
Anyways, so last pack here, triple T's. Didn't we already pull one too? Yeah, dude, this is our second triple T's. This, this display is cracked, actually. Hell yeah, Surgical, surgical Striker, Hemp Boy, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, mirror uh, Sword Soul of Ty, and then a Ray. Hell yeah. All right, let's go third box. So, yeah, I mean, as far as, I'm going to be honest, like, as far as the fair rare we did pull, I feel like that's actually kind of decent because there are some fair rares that are not that expensive. Like, if, it, I did just say, you know, they are cool and you guys should be picking them up. But, like, for example, Toon Kingdom isn't that expensive. So, we, we didn't pull the most expensive fair rare, but we also didn't pull a slouch either. Apollosa, oh, the goddess, hell yeah. That would have been a lot better if, we, if it didn't... Uh, and we didn't know that it's getting reprinted very soon. Sky Striker, Mecha, Widow, Anchor. That's actually a really good card. I bought a shitload of them uh, in preparation for some Sky Striker buyouts. And, I mean, so far, it ha they, haven't, uh, they haven't really been disappearing. So, infinite impermanence. God damn, this, this display is so cracked, bro. Pharaoh Rare, two Triple Ts, one infinite impermanence. God damn, okay. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, uh, Sky Striker A's Ray, and then Miss Hain over there. Hain Hain. Wasn't that a card back in the day? Yeah, it was like uh, a flip effect monster, right? And it's uh, if you flipped it, it returned the monster to the field or some shit. Or from, from the field to the hand. Skill Drain. Skill Drain. Yeah, man. And Apollosa. God damn. Yeah, th this, dis this display is pretty cracked. Foolish Return. Uh, we got a Kagari and a Winged Mayakashi, so hell yeah, okay, okay. I, I kind of, um, I'm kind of curious if they're ever gonna take off the restrictions on, hey, look at that, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, but not the Fair Rare. Uh, yeah, but I wonder if they're ever gonna take restrictions off the, um, what are they called, uh, the Ishizu cards, because... I don't know, man. If a whole archetype is unplayable just because Konami put the ban hammer on it, I kind of feel like I feel for them. You know, they it, that should not be the case. They should every archetype should be playable to a degree. Um, that's my philosophy, at least. But uh, we got a Kagari Kagari sleeve. They, they actually kind of look pretty badass. The, I like the color red. So, you know, I don't like the waifus, but the color the color scheme is pretty nice. All right, so this is the second to last display. Let's see. Is it possible? Or not display, second to last box. Is it possible to pull more than one Pharaoh Rare in a display, though? Because I feel like that's... I mean, technically, I guess any, anything is possible. But what I've seen is that most people that buy a case, meaning four displays, they don't even pull a Pharaoh Rare. So, I mean, these, these Pharaoh Rares are pretty fucking nutty. Number 93, Utopia Kaiza. Sky, Stri Sky Striker East token. Speaking of Sky Strikers, Foolish Return, and then a Kagari goes with the Kagari sleeves and a Ray. A lot of Sky Strikers. I don't remember pulling this this many Sky Strikers uh, back back when uh, you know the set was new. But uh, Yada Garasu, fresh off the ban list back when the set was uh, you know released. Uh, Icicle Mayakashi, Rideable Dragon, a hero lives. Ooh. Imagine this as a Pharaoh rare, man. That would have been dope, actually. And it, it was they shouldn't have included a hero lives, to be honest. Like at the time, there were other hero cards that needed reprints a lot more than a hero lives. But if they made it a a Pharaoh rare, it would have been a nice excuse to put it in the set. But uh Source Soul Sacred Summit. And then an instant fusion. Instant fusion, dude, fell so hard. It used to be like a pretty cracked card, and now like no one plays it. It's kind of funny, kind of funny actually. But uh, all right, so last uh, last little box here. Always got to check the box because uh, these packs kind of fall off. And the last one here is a witchcrafter. So we got different sleeves once again from this display. That's a win in my book. All right, let's see what the front card is. Trap Trick Sarah. This card was like 20 bucks before it was reprinted in this set. So, hell yeah. And a, uh, a Mizuki. Uh, weird weird inclusion in here. It's kind of... Wait, 
Maybe not. Let me see. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target. Yeah. It's a generic zombie support, so, like, during the time the set was released, there was no... Well, I guess it isn't that random, because my Akashis are zombies. But, uh, Yadagarasu, Kelbic, the Ancient Vanguard, Foolish Return, uh, Multi-Roll, and uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Okay. I, I always like the, uh, the, the grin the, the walk gives there. Okay, two more packs, guys. We did get the Pharaoh Rare. Totally awesome, dude. Blast Held by Destiny, uh, Sorcerer Strive, Metal Reflex Slime. Also, a really weird re uh, inclusion. I understand why it's in, in here, but like, not everything needs a reprint, Konami. Like, chill. Sword Soul Emerges. Hell yeah, let's go. That's a pretty decent card. Light Imprisoning Mirror and Majestus of Vare. Okay, I don't remember this card. And then, oh, Widow Inker. Not bad ended, actually. I do feel like these Sky Striker... Well, in particular, Widow Anger, because it's like a really, really good card, has potential to go up a lot in the market. But uh, that is a video, guys. I mean, that, that is pretty crazy. We pulled two copies of Soldier of Chaos, printed to death. I feel like they got to stop printing Soldier of Chaos. Um, but I will take it in this uh, Pharaoh Rare rarity and now i'm kind of looking at the edges because i feel like they're kind of not that good but uh i mean you guys let me know you guys are better judge uh better judge of characters than i the back looks pretty decent so i'm happy man all right catch you guys in the next one